So, uh, I'd like to ask you how many U.S. service members are in Syria or are operating in Syria. Um, I'm expecting to get a, a similar answer. Are you are you able to tell me? Right. I think uh, you know the, the Department of Defense. I think is uh, is basically said about around 1,700 have been there. But again, uh, I, I would offer the same response to you in these. And in answer to Ms. Gabbard's question about um, what our purpose is, you responded that the sole and single task is to defeat ISIS. Is that, in fact, the, the reason for our military presence? That is the reason for our military and, presence. And with the defeat of ISIS, will we no longer have a military presence in Syria? Well, with, when 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 uh, we have completed our when we've completed our mission here in in uh, in Syria, it, it involves not only uh, kicking uh, ISIS out of the areas in which they occupy, but it also includes the consolidation and the consolidation of gains and the stability uh, that allows uh, allows us to move forward with a with a political resolution to this. So that. That's been defined for us by uh, by our leadership here, and so that's how we are uh, we are gauging our military support. That's part of the mission. The the first part of your answer is clear to me. If there are no longer um, ISIS combatants on on the battlefield, if we no longer have a threat from them, I, I think that's probably something we can measure. The second part sounds a little mushy. Could you define that in terms that I and my constituents can understand, so we will know? When we have won, and when service members can come back from Syria, right. So what we'll, what we'll what we will continue to do is support our partners on the ground to ensure that uh, the areas we can consolidate our gains, uh, we can stabilize the area, we can ensure that uh, uh, international organizations, humanitarian aid organizations, can come back and people can get into their into their homes. And this is about creating the security environment that uh, that allows that and uh, and uh, and provides the time for our diplomats. Uh, to pursue the the solution uh, uh, that they, that uh, that we are seeking through the United Nations in 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 Syria. So even after ISIS is gone, there, there is an indefinite military commitment from the United States of America. Uh, from from the description you just gave me, uh, what is the, what is the legal justification to be there after ISIS is no longer there? Well, the the. The, the fact is ISIS is still there, and that's what we're dealing with right but now. But the question I asked you is after ISIS is defeated and you've well, accomplished part that, of our, part of our, what is the legal justification for U.S. service members to be deployed in Syria? Well, the, 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 uh, the principal thing will be to ensure that, uh, that ISIS does not reemerge in this particular area. Even though they have been eliminated from, uh, from controlling terrain does not mean that ISIS is not present in this area. I think we've been very clear on that. So we have to ensure that, uh, that ISIS isn't given the opportunity to, to resurge here. With regard to your, uh, uh, your question on the, uh, on, the, uh, on the legal authority of this, again, I would cite that uh, you know, the principal, principal legal authority here was self-defense of, of Iraq in terms of this and the unwillingness and inability of the Syrian regime to provide for, uh, to address this particular threat that posed uh, a threat to not just the, the country of Syria and Iraq, but really to, the, to, to a much broader uh, group of, uh, of countries around the world. My understanding is that the administration has used the uh, 2001 authorization for the use of military force, uh, whose justification is premised on um, the attacks of 9-11 and um, stopping uh, those who attacked this country from being able to do so Again, and I think the logical conclusion of, of your answer to my question about our presence after ISIS is defeated is that the U.S. military can be in any and every country that there was ever an ISIS presence just so that there will not be an ISIS presence going forward. And I think that is a recipe for disaster. We will not have successful oversight or accountability or prosecution of that war because we cannot define its goals uh, or the strategy. Uh, I yield back.